24-year-old Nicholas Laverde is no stranger to police. In 2012, he was convicted of larceny and served time, but now he's back in police custody on a much more serious crime. In January, Cranston police first began their investigation after a bank robber got away with cash from this bank RI branch on Park Ave. He mentioned about shooting the teller if she didn't turn over the money, so there was a threatening undertone to the note. Princeton Police Chief Colonel Michael Winquist says despite the clear surveillance pictures, it was impossible to make out the suspect's face. But just a few days ago, a carbon copy of the January bank robbery. The same outfit with the same note, and it started at the same bank. I believe when he went into the uh, bank Rhode Island, uh, his guard was down, so we were able to get a clear shot of his face at that time. Police believe the suspect wrote a similar note at this bank, then went to the Webster Bank just a few blocks down Park Ave, covered his face, showed the note, and got away with cash. Police identified the suspect as 24-year-old Nicholas Laverde and shared the surveillance photos with the public. Tips came pouring in, and Cranston Police, along with Rhode Island State Police, got an arrest warrant for Laverde, who was staying at a rehab facility in Exeter, where they tried to catch him. He was able to exit uh, a bathroom window and escape into the wooded area. Police say he stole this pickup truck to get away. The owner called Rhode Island State Police. Inside the vehicle was a shotgun, rifle, and ammunition. A day later, police found the truck abandoned in Providence near a known address of Laverde. We were able to uh, gain consent from a uh, family member. He was found hiding in a closet behind some clothes. Um, he immediately surrendered at that point and was taken into custody. And right now, no money has been recovered from those two robberies. Laverde was not armed at the time of his arrest, and all those weapons that were in the truck all have been recovered. Now, Laverde faces two counts of second-degree robbery and possession of a stolen vehicle. A judge just set his bail at $40,000 with surety for all those charges. He'll be in court on Monday. Reporting live in the newsroom, Kelly Sullivan, Eyewitness News.